Let me tell you a story. I'm a weird person and I used to think that's a bad thing. My teachers used to say that I'm an intelligent kid and that I'm wasting my potential. In elementary, my mom used to go up the stage and collect honorary awards for me all the time. I used to compete in declamation contests, math quizzes, spelling bees. There was a time I was so frustrated when I lost. It was a poem called The Lion and the Mouse. It's kind of funny now that I think about it. <laughs> in high school, I didn't want to be the intelligent kid anymore because I didn't have friends then. I uh, purposely dropped my grades, failed my exams, so I can be transferred out of uh, what we called the cream section. I think I may have one geek friend like me who likes to play video games. Plus, I'm very competitive. I don't like to share my homework or let others copy during the exams. I started to skip school to play video games. I became exactly the opposite of how I was. I just knew enough to not to get into too much trouble to get kicked out and I studied enough so, yeah, so that I can pass the school year. Later in life, I still kept trying to conform. I didn't want to stand out anymore because it was lonely there. Though I still chose the people who I could trust and somewhat be myself still. Here are a few things I realized about me. I didn't like studying in school. I learned better from experience. I don't like small talks. I like having deep, long conversations about life. I like weird people, though I now call them real people. I'm a leader. I like to talk a lot and I speak my mind. Because of that, I'm often misunderstood and come across as arrogant. I like to look at actions more than words and I learned that people are oddly consistent with their actions. In this day and age of social media, we try to curate the perfect story of our lives. We post our travels, happy moments with friends and families and children. But let's ask ourselves, why do we do this? Do we genuinely want to share our happy moments and post it to serve as a reminder and then go back to the moment and be completely present? Or do we do it to impress people for the likes and comments that we end up missing out on the important things that truly matter? Time, people, being. To be honest, I was in this trap for a long time. Perhaps because I didn't accept myself. Perhaps I didn't want to be alone. Perhaps it felt good to be under that spotlight of attention. But what happens when there's nothing new or we're just living our regular boring lives? This is what I learned from this. Be authentic. Accept who you are. You are perfect in your most imperfect way. And try to let who you truly are come out, one day at a time. You will turn off some people, I can tell you that. And that's okay. But in turn, you will attract the right kind of people. May it be in business, relationships, or a life partner. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe and share this video to someone you think needs to hear this message. Peace.